inspired you to do this research on self-esteem? Yeah. So as a couples therapist, I was used to seeing couples a lot, and I would really try to work with them on building the emotional connection in their relationships. And one thing that I started noticing is sometimes we'd work and work at building this emotional connection between partners, but it seemed like one or other, or sometimes both, of the partners wasn't quite getting it. So even though I was witnessing this really healthy relationship with a lot of emotional caregiving between partners, so one of the partners wouldn't notice that. And so I started thinking about, well, what types of things might be contributing to the fact that these partners are not able to perceive the healthy stuff that's going on mm -hmm. in their relationships? And so I thought, well, maybe it just has something to do with how you feel about yourself. Tell us what your main finding is. So my main finding in this study is that the way that a person feels about themselves, so self-esteem, you know, just if you think positively or negatively about who you are as a person, that that is related to how you notice the type of emotional responsiveness from your partner. Mm -hmm. So if you are reporting lower self-esteem, you don't have kind thoughts about yourself, you think less of yourself, then you are not as able to believe that your partner is using positive emotional caregiving in the relationship. On the flip side, people who had higher self-esteem were saying that they really did notice when their partner was using these positive caregiving responses in the relationship. So why do you feel it's important for young adults to understand more about your research? I think young adults should know more about this type of research because as you go into a romantic relationship, I think it's important to remember that not only are you going into a relationship that's new, but you and the other person are both bringing in kind of previous stuff, baggage kind of, that impacts the way that your relationship's gonna work. And so if you kind of remember that in a couple relationship, it's really important to work on you and your own stuff, how you feel about yourself, kind of how you do you, that can have a really big impact on how the couple relationship is processed as well. So that ideally, if both people are at their peak, then they can kind of walk into the relationship and create a really healthy relationship. If one or the other isn't quite at that peak level and kind of functioning at a level that's a little bit lower, that makes it harder to feel, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit more connected emotionally to your spouse or to your partner. And so recognizing that the way you feel about you really can play out in a relationship. So Darren, what tips would you give to young adults who are trying to feel better about themselves? Yeah, if, if young adults want to feel better about themselves, I think one thing that's really important to do is kind of shift the way that you're thinking. And remember that um, who you are is not necessarily the same thing as what you're doing. So even if you're not doing things as well as you want, that doesn't change the amount of worth you have because those two things are very separate. And so for young adults, I think it's important to just kind of remind yourself of those things as you're going about your day. Just remember that you have things that you're doing and they might go well, they might not, but that doesn't impact the worth that you have to yourself or to other people. And also, I'm a therapist, so I advocate, go to therapy if you need to, you know, if it's severe enough where it's impacting the way you're functioning in your life or your school or your job or your relationship, then it's worth revisiting on maybe a more intensive level and working over with a professional.